welcome to the day by day at traveling circus today we're headed someplace completely new someplace we've never taken you before i don't even know if we'll get to video in there but yeah we're headed out and uh i'll explain first i want to show you this gorgeous girl look at that hair look how pretty because you look so cute you look so cute sophie uh, so uh, also we are wearing a regular clothes i have a little skirt on and sophie's got clothes on always wear gabby's got clothes on like we got je i don't have jeans on but the girls have jeans on like i don't pants on so we are at the doctors we never go to the doctor we are like such a healthy group of people but we're actually not at the real doctor we're at the eye doctor do you think you're gonna need glasses no you think you're gonna need glasses gabby uh -oh. i'm getting out of the car now gabby's just getting out of the car now um i i can look at something still and i cannot blink for like a really long time uh, i need new glasses do you think you're gonna need glasses no, I don't think they are going to need glasses. They have Sam's good eyes. So wish us luck. We all smell good. We've washed our hair. We have no farm stuff on us. Feels good. Wearing Sophie's wearing Crocs, but that's okay. Gabby's wearing winter clothes in summer. Summer clothes in winter. Go ahead. Go ahead, girlies. Masks on. Oh my God. <laughs> the appointment's tomorrow. That's tomorrow. Like, I'm going to tell you guys what happened. <laughs> I hate my life. I'm putting my hair up. I hate my life. Okay, so this is what happened. In my... How do you get mixed up when your mother died? In my calendar, I had the appointment for tomorrow, for Friday. So I thought I was coming tomorrow. And then last night, I was at the beach, and the receptionist called me, and she said, Hi, Laura, I just want to confirm your appointment. That's all she said. She didn't say a time or a date. And I said, Oh, okay. Is it in the morning? And she said, yeah, it's in the morning. And I said, okay, what time? And she said, 9.15. And I'm like, okay, I must have put it in the calendar wrong. Like, I must have. And so then we get there, and she's like, no, it's tomorrow. And I'm like, oh, my gosh. Like, what the actual heck? And she said, her mom just died, so she's been a little out of sorts. I'm like, oh, okay, I get it. Yep. She was probably lying. <laughs> Gabby, she's probably lying. <laughs> Maybe rush all morning. Yeah, like... Yeah, could have slept in. Now we gotta do it all again tomorrow. And Dad's and Sam's not home, so we gotta let the horses out before we can go. So, yeah, we're not going to the doctor today. We're going tomorrow. We are in the store because my doctor's appointment didn't happen. And uh, we found some swimming stuff, but I really want a volleyball, you guys. I haven't videoed it. Yeah, I haven't videoed it, but I've been playing volleyball with the girls at the beach, and it's been insane amounts of fun i've been getting muscles now and i'm pushing your cart for her and so i want to get a volleyball i saw one at the store Ooh. next door <laughs> no never take selfie shopping with you because you'll never get it out Ooh. and you'll be buying a lot of junk that is really cute actually oh this one's better because it has a map well so i'm getting the grandkids soon and yeah, we're gonna so go to the beach i think that would be fun for them to take to the beach. So I'm here to get thread. And you guys are not gonna believe why. A disaster has happened. They don't have the color I need though. I don't know what to get. Oh, look, this is better. What the heck? This is maybe the color I need right here. All right, this is what I'm getting. I need that color. You guys, I need this color. What do you think it's for? So if they like to check things out. He loves to shop. So we were driving by and we saw these balls. Are they volleyballs? Yes. Yeah. I don't know if I really want a green one. Don't they have pink? Like, why don't they make pink volleyballs? I like it. I can't breathe All right, let's get this one. They have flip flops too. Pink ones. So we never come in this store. They're so pretty. But they have nice stuff in here. I need a watch too. I would want this one. That's I don't like plastic watches. Super comfy. I like the yellow. Yeah, the yellow are cute. Get a different color. You look nice in colors. Purple is cute. Isn't that cute? No. All right, what do you think? I think yes. All right. So yeah. there's more room in the cart. Yeah, yeah, more room in our cart for our ball. Sophie decided to do this Wait, fancy thing. <laughs> <laughs> that annoys me too. Did we not just buy new running shoes? 
Did we? I bought Crocs. I like this purse. I always look for a purse. It's either my bra or a purse to carry the yeah. camera. Yeah, that's cute. So, Kaylee bought a volleyball net. Kaylee bought a volleyball net recently, and I want one because it's fun. All right, so that's super cool. Giant floating mat, mega party mat. And they have soccer, but no volleyball. Do you see a volleyball net? Yeah. Sophie and I came to check the chickens because when we got home last night, it was late. We didn't have time. They look happy. They need more water. Their water's empty? Completely. How did that happen? I'm sorry. On a hill. Oh, that's weird. I'll go, I'll go fill it. Let's look in the chicken coop. One egg. What? One. Just one egg. Just one egg today. Which one of you guys did not lay yet? So, uh, I don't know if you can see. We picked these chickens oh, from, from our friend. And one of them is an old girl. Yep. She's like, what? Who are you calling old? But you are. She's an old girl. And we took her anyway. You know why? Because Sophie loved her. Because sometimes love is not about beauty and perfection. Even though she is beautiful. And some, sometimes love is just about love oh. even though she's old and then these got these girls are young i think they're both easter eggers at least the gray one is an easter egger and i don't think the gray one lays eggs yet i think just the two older ones lay eggs gave them two waters and they're happy to have it we had to leave so early this morning sam did not have time for chores so gabby has gone down to do chores gabby and the puppies and Sophie and this puppy are on their way down to do chores. So I bought us uh, our own volleyball. I bought this super cool uh, bag because I can take this to the beach. Often when we go to the beach, I just take like six waters so that we don't get hot because we only stay for a couple of hours. And this is insulated and I can put ice in it and it will hold two, 12, 12 bags of water, 12 bottles of water. <laughs> that dog be loving her Sophie. Yeah. Summer, I'll be by your side. Sophie got a new shirt. I got some new needles and some thread. I'm going to show you why. Sophie got some goggles. I got a razor. Some little scissors. Some globbles for the grandkids. Sophie and I both love these. They're waffles and they have maple syrup inside of them. And you put them over top of your coffee or your tea in the morning and it melts the syrup inside. See how they have a cup there? And then they taste so amazing. And I got some nail polish for my toes. I know. Listen. She's. she's <laughs> Did you miss her so much? My pants are in there. <laughs> That's love. That's real love, you guys. If you want a really loving dog, get a Dalmatian. Get a Dalmatian. She loves us all, but she loves Sophie. I can't breathe. <laughs> I know. You're a crazy girl, but we love you. Yes, we do. If you touch her, she'll probably make noise. Let's see. Oh, yes. You love me. What about if I touch Sophie? You love me? You just love me? Yes, you just love me? Oh, I can't breathe. So these are Sophie's show pants. These are the ones that she wears every single show. She only has one pair and this happened. You know what this is? This is Molly. Molly ate her pants. So I'm gonna try and sew them and if it doesn't work out, then she's gonna have to get new ones. The problem is riding pants like this cost $100 at least. Gabby's cost $300, Sophie's cost 100. She hasn't got to the $300 stage yet, but yeah. $100 for a pair of pants. So if Molly's gonna chew pants. I insist that she chew them, the cheap ones. I just don't know if this is gonna work. This pray, is, pray for me. I just don't feel like it's gonna work. Oh. You coming? Oh. You coming, little dog? The dog does not go outside. The dog hates to go outside. Oh. Every other dog wants to go, but not that one. <laughs> Coming. You can't come. Nope, nope, nope. You have to stay. You can come when we come back. There's something dead over here. You know how I know? Because Molly keeps rolling over here. Uh oh, is it a snake? What is that? You guys see it? No. 
It's a stick. Anyways, yeah, Molly keeps rolling there and she stinks. Gabby's gonna give her a bath. There was a burr on Molly's neck and a salt got caught on it, on it and she started chewing it. So I think uh, my pants got stuck on her neck. I sewed Sophie's pants and they'll be good for this weekend show. And then and I'll buy her new ones. Come here, little missus. She started chewing a sock that got stuck on her neck. Come here. That's a giant prickly bush. That is a giant prickly bush. I don't know. Like, look at this prickly bush. Goes all the way up to my waist. See? Oh, hello. Hello, princess. Yes, you're the best girl. Oh, Sam did not put bug spray on you. Bug spray and a fly mask. All right, let's get ready. They're going to beat us. Let me just clean your eyes. Let me just clean your eyes. Hey, Daddy. I know, you hate it. Probably so many people have cleaned her eyes in her whole entire life that she just hates it. Yes. But she likes this. Oh, I want uh -uh. to follow She wants the treats. She's like, give me the treats. It's actually really hot out today, but there's this gorgeous breeze that feels amazing. I have this like ginormous fear of reaching my hand inside the bucket. Reaching my hand inside the treat bucket because I've done it before like a few times and there's been really disgusting mice in there. No. Yeah, there has been. It was a mole. It was a mole? It was a baby mole. Baby mole? Well, it's happened to me more than once, let me tell you that. She's waiting. She's like, I know you went for treats. <laughs> I deserve treats. I'm such a pretty girl. Aww. How come you don't do how come you don't do fancy tricks for treats? Just wait. So if he's gonna see if Penny will follow her for a treat. She absolutely does. Only one who didn't get a treat yet is Miss Gracie. See if she'll follow you. Take her to the ending and see if she will run. This is something that we like to do with our horses just because it's fun. If you go to the end of the if you take them to the end of the arena and then you leave them, they always run back. Except for Penny. Penny doesn't run. <laughs> Isn't she the prettiest pony? You don't kiss. You don't kiss like that girl. She's like, oh. she always tries to eat my ring. See my wedding ring there? She'll lick my hand and lick my hand and lick my hand until she feels the ring and then she'll try and bite it. Which is not my favorite. Smile it. <gasps> Penny Pickle. Mom, she's smiling. You do not. No, I don't hit people and I don't hit horses. You do not bite other people. Just because we are a non-hitting family does not mean that you can do that. Be nice. Be nice. Be nice, you guys. Go out there and be nice and see what happens. See the new friends that you make. There's Starby boy. Hi, big boy. They heard us and they all came running. They all know. They all knew. So we came and we got out of the car and all of a sudden we saw they were just running. Oh, I'm bringing Storm in too. Just a minute, buddy. I'll get your thing. Right. I'm here, I'm here. Oh, look at it's you. Terrifying because all the horses think it's supper time. Hi, Chino, hi, Finny. Oh, hello, sweet boy. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie, all the horses at this barn are so well-mannered and so kind. Like, they're all such good horses. You know why I think they're good horses? Uh, Storm, that's not that's yours. Not that. That's not yours. Who's the bag in there? A bag. No, she does not get anything. That was greedy. That was greedy. Mean mom. Okay, so the bad news. I told them I'm gonna tell them bad news. This is what happened to your horse show this weekend. Your rated horse show this weekend. They canceled it. They canceled it. Do you know why they canceled it? Not enough people. Not enough people. So yeah, they canceled the show. So how it works is um, this trillium is how it works. It's silver series, like it's silver level. 
So basically in Canada, instead of having like A and B and all that kind of stuff, we have silver, we have bronze, which is schooling, silver, which is what we're at, and then gold, which is A's. That's what we're gonna do next year. So um, so at the, at the silver level, in the past, we've only ever had trillium. So everybody went to trillium. And this is the first year that we have two silver series and one is called silver series and one is called trillium. So half the trillium people went to silver series. Um, fortunately, that means that the enrollment for the trillium was down. But the only reason it's like that is because three of the shows are in one barn and one of the shows is at another barn far away, like two hours away. So a lot of people at the first show aren't gonna go to the second show, but we live in the middle of both shows. So we were gonna go to that show and we're gonna do the three at that, at that barn. So their enrollment was two low and they canceled their one show it's just one show so our trillium show season this year is only gonna have three shows gabby only has three shows to get together to win to go to champs and also i had no treats left you guys what <laughs> what does that mean you're the boss of them you let her push your head down that's not a all right, do it with one finger. Try it. Try it with one finger. <laughs> Good boy. Yeah. Good boy. Okay, so that's the bad news. The bad news is that we're missing one of the shows for Trillium, but that means that Chino has time to build up some more, which is why we're here today. But we do have some interesting good news that there I want to tell you about. Me the so, Sophie, tell them what good news is happening. Sophie's taking Finn to a jumper show. When I was editing the video of Sophie riding Finn at the schooling show, I'm like, everybody says that he's more of a jumper pony. And I was watching him and I'm like, what the heck were we thinking? Like why? It's good to have a versatile pony that can do hunters and jumpers. Like that's really good and that's what we're gonna keep working for. But I think he definitely will do if better. Do, if we do good at the jumper show, we might have to turn it to jumpers. Yeah, we'll see what happens. But anyways, we're doing what you guys suggested and we're taking Finn to a jumper show on Saturday, right? Yeah. Two days. I'm waiting for the girls to finish tacking up and it's not quite time for Storm to go in yet, so I brought him out here with me. Yeah, brought you out here. I gave him a big brush. <laughs> gave him a big brush. Should have sprayed him with fly spray. Yeah. He'd be looking good though. He's looking good. So the girls are gonna have a ride. This ride is all about building stamina. Okay, we'll get going. No jumping, just flat. And I'm not gonna video it because I'm sitting here on this thing and I'm just chilling with Stormy Boy. I want him to remember that he's ours and know that he's ours and Gabby's gonna ride him after. Don't you know?